ಹಾಯ್ ಹಲೋ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ನೀಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಟೆನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಂ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಜಿಯಾಗ್ರಫಿ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ನಂಬರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಕ್ಲೈಮೇಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದಿ ವಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೆಸನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೆಸನ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಲರ್ನ್ ದ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಕ್ಲೈಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ and the factors affecting it climatic seasons and their characteristics distribution of rainfall in india these are the learning points let's come to the we are going to get the more information about indian climate india has tropical monsoon type of climate so india it has the tropical monsoon type of climate so in this type of climate winds blow in of opposite direction in the different seasons you can see during summer season and during winter season you can identify the wind which is blowing in a opposite direction entirely opposite direction in the summer season whereas in winter season even so that is the during the time of october and march towards the indian ocean in this time how the wind is blowing whereas it is blowing towards north east monsoon whereas april to september it is south west monsoon it is called as the south west monsoon exactly opposite direction we are going to be identify the blow of wind so here is a question think and answer africa continent has tropical type of climate why so here this is the question for you dear students africa continent has tropical type of climate so why the equator passes through the middle of africa continent so in the middle of the african continent the sun rays falls vertically over this region hence africa continent has tropical climate even a next question name any two hill stations are high altitude places near to you so please you have to comment in the comment box and why do people go to hill stations during summer season dear students you have to answer for these questions also why do people choose evening time for walking on sea shore so these are three questions please answer in the comment box for these questions will you okay thank you and here some of the main factors which influence on the climate of india are majorly latitude and the next height from sea level height from the sea level that is also one of the very important factor whereas distance from the sea so you can identify where is delhi and bay of bengal so distance from the sea it is also one of the very important factor which is influence on the climate direction of the wind so as in the beginning of the pictures you have been identified how north west and south east direction will be blowing by the wind and the next uh, mountain ranges mountain ranges are also uh, one of the main factor for the climate of india and the ocean currents so you can see the ocean currents indian ocean current so that is also will influence the climate of india so the climate of india according to the meteorological department of india can be divided into four seasons so let's come to the which are that four season number one the winter season that is from december to february 
whereas the summer season March to May. The rainy season June to middle September. The retreating monsoon season middle September to November. So these are the four climatic seasons of India. So let's come to the one by one we are going to get the information. Among that the first one the winter season. During this season the rays of the sun fall vertically over the southern hemisphere. So you have the concept of southern hemisphere especially during winter season sun rays will fall vertically towards the southern hemisphere whereas India gets oblique rays of the sun because India it is located in the northern hemisphere so that India gets oblique rays of the sun hence the temperature and humidity are low and the sky is completely clear during winter season it is cool in the north warm in the south towards the southern part of India it is very cool whereas southern part of India little warm whereas January month is the coldest month during winter season among that the hilly uh, areas of Kashmir and Himachal Pradesh recorded the lowest temperature among that the place name called as the Dras near Kargil has recorded the lowest temperature with minus 40 degrees Celsius so you can see the picture in the map of India near Kargil the place name called as Dras which is recorded lowest temperature with minus 40 degree Celsius. Dew and fox are common. There is heavy snowfall in the mountain areas. Overall India gets only 2% of its annual rainfall during winter season. So this is about the winter season. Let's move on to summer season. During summer season, sun's rays fall vertically over the northern hemisphere. During winter season, sun rays will fall vertically towards the southern hemisphere. But whereas summer season, sun rays will fall vertically towards the northern hemisphere. Hence, obviously, the temperature is very high in India. As you know, because India it is located in the northern hemisphere. It is hot, dry and sluttery. Sluttery getting sweat, heavy sweat. And conventional rain occurs locally in some parts of country. Conventional rainfall that is during daytime. Conventional rainfall obviously will occurs during the daytime. So it is called as conventional rainfall locally in some parts of the country. This rain is known as during conventional rainfall it is called as a different names in the parts of India. Among that Andes in Uttar Pradesh. You can see the map that is Uttar Pradesh. So it is called as the Andes. Whereas in West Bengal, it is called as Kalabaisaki. Whereas in Karnataka, it is known as Kafi Blossom. Whereas in Kerala, it is called as Mango Showers. And this is the highest temperature recorded is 49.4 degree Celsius. That is at Ganga Nagar in Rajasthan. The place of Ganga Nagar in Rajasthan you can see in the map of India that is recorded with highest temperature. And overall India receives only 10% of rainfall its annual during summer season. So this is about the summer season. Let's move on to the rainy season. 
rainy season is also known as the southwest monsoon season because the temperature rises by the end of summer season during summer season obviously the summer is very high the hot so that temperature rises by end of the summer season a low pressure area is developed overall the central part of india on the other hand there is a high pressure over the indian ocean hence the moisture laden winds blow from the southwest towards the india towards the indian ocean the part of uh, indian ocean so it will be blow south west winds will blow towards the part of india so that rainy season it is divided into as a two branches they are called as south west monsoons the arabian sea and the bay of bengal so the arabian sea branch strikes it is the branches it is mainly classified into as a the southwest monsoon it is the arabian sea branch and another one it is called as the bay of bengal branch here so towards the east is called as bay of bengal branch and towards the west is called as arabian sea branch the arabian sea branch strikes in the western ghats so the part of western ghats causes heavy rainfall in the western side of western ghats so this part of western side of western ghats will cause us heavy rainfall by the arabian sea branch on the other hand the bay of bengal branch causes heavy rainfall when it strikes against the hills of meghalaya and assam the place of meghalaya and assam when it strikes causes heavy rainfall during the bay of bengal branches will strikes against the hills of meghalaya and assam so here the branches of southwest monsoons so one it is called as the arabian sea branch and another one it is called as bay of bengal branch so overall 75% of rainfall will causes during the rainy season on the next the retreating monsoon season by the end of october the southwest monsoon winds starts retreating why here it is a question by the end of october the southwest monsoon winds starts retreating why so as there is increase in pressure and decrease in the temperature in the main reason for the retreating monsoon winds by the end of october so this is the answer for the above question so there is a increases in the pressure decreases the temperature during rainy season it receives heavy rainfall so that obviously the pressure increases temperature will decreases as a result of this the retreating monsoon winds by the end of october you can see the map of india tropical cyclones frequently occur in the bay of bengal during retreating monsoon season they cause some damage along the east coast so that is this is the part of area which is causes are called as the the retreating monsoon season and it will be a cause uh, almost uh, they cause some damage along the east coast the part of this part of area it is called as the east coast and create a lot of damages so here you can see the picture how it has been damaged so let's come to the distribution of rainfall on the basis of the amount of rainfall india can be divided into three broad zones so they are called as area with low rainfall second one areas with medium rainfall areas with heavy rainfall so these are the distribution of rainfall on the basis of amount of rainfall in india 
So let's come to the one by one. We are going to get the information. Areas with rainfall. Areas with low rainfall. Less than 50 centimeter. So which are the areas which are receiving less than 50 centimeter annually. So like the places it includes the western Kutch. So here the Gujarat western Kutch. The Thar Desert of Rajasthan. Here you can see the Thar Desert of Rajasthan. And it's adjust, adjoining areas like Western Punjab, Haryana and Gujarat. North of Jaskar range and the rain shadow area of the Western Ghats. Rain shadow area. So this part of area it is called as the rain shadow area of western gods so these are the areas which are receiving less than 50 centimeters of rainfall annually among that royally in jaisalmer of rajasthan you can see the place royally in jaisalmer of rajasthan is receives least amount of rainfall annually with 8.3 centimeter the place of royally in Jaisalmer of Rajasthan, it receives only 8.3 centimeters of rainfall in year, in a year. So it is the driest place in India. It is considered as the uh, driest place in India. And, uh, so you can see the picture uh, royally in Jaisalmer of Rajasthan. And the second one, the areas with medium rainfall. So like it is a long belt extending from northern Punjab to Cape of Kanyakumari. So the part of so you can see the Punjab Punjab to up to Kanyakumari the part of a long belt extending from northern Punjab up to the Cape of Kanyakumari. It is a uh, broader in the north and a narrow in a, a peninsular India between the western gods and the eastern gods. So you can see the part of northern part of India it is a very broad area the area which is receiving 50 to 100 centimeter but when it comes to the part of during this part of area it is called as a peninsular region. Peninsular so here the part of western gods and eastern gods this part of area it will become uh, narrow so this part of area will receives 50 to 100 centimeters of rainfall and the third one areas with heavy rainfall with 100 to 250 centimeter so it is found in four separate belts so you can see the green patches among that a narrow belt with western gods so this part of a narrow belt of western gods and the second one a belt of jammu hills through the himachal pradesh this part of jammu hills with um, himachal pradesh northern uttar pradesh the part of northern the part of uttar pradesh bihar and then west bengal so these are the places will receive 100 to 250 centimeter and north eastern part of India so in the seven sisters and the west coast so the part of blue in color it is called as the west coast and the western side of western gods western side of western gods which are receiving heavy rainfall so these are the areas which receives 100 to 250 centimeters rainfall so among that the place name called as Masindram is located in this zone gets the heaviest rainfall. You can see the place which is marked it is Masindram located in this zone gets heaviest rainfall in India. The place of Masindram village. So these are the pictures which are showing the pictures of Masindram village which is receiving heavy rainfall in India. So that's it about today's session. I hope you have understood till now what we are discussed. In case of if you having any doubts, you can comment in the comment box. I will solve your doubts and, I'll, and I will come back with the next video until keep watching my channel. Thank you. Have a nice day. See you in the next session. Bye-bye. Take care.